Hey there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today is one that I have been meaning to film. I'm finally getting around to doing it. It is going to be a story time slash clothing haul. So this video is going to be all about the clothing boutique Luca Luca and I am going to be reviewing their clothing in this video as well as talking about the website in general, how I feel it's a scam, how I got scammed from them, things that you should maybe think about before you go ahead and make that purchase. So. Why don't we go ahead and get into the video? All right, so to give you guys a little context, this is going to be about the website called Luca Luca. So I'm going to place a little scroll right here so you guys can kind of see what the website looks like. I've seen this website on Pinterest a lot when I was looking for maternity gowns. Um, I was looking for different outfits that I could wear for like my maternity shoot. Um, they, they had a ton of really cute clothing on there. Uh, and then they started popping up on my Facebook ads and things like that once I was searching them. So the site does look like it is a maternity site. That's what they specialize in. And it looks like they have a ton of really cute, affordable maternity clothes. So what happened is I went ahead and after like a while of kind of thinking about it, I went ahead and just made a purchase on there. I had looked on YouTube for um, hauls. I do that sometimes, like if I'm shopping from a new place, I'll go on YouTube and see if there's any like clothing hauls or anything like that. And I didn't see any. So I was like, okay, well great, I can make a clothing haul and I can show people because there aren't any um, clothing hauls that I can find on YouTube about it. And I could see that it had been searched. So I was like, okay, great, I'll buy the clothes. I'll review them, I'll make a video about it. And so I went ahead and I decided to make a purchase. So I ordered a, a little over $100 worth of clothing. And altogether, I was supposed to be getting seven different pieces. So I ordered two separate maternity dresses, a hair piece, and then the rest of them were just like maternity clothing. And then I did go ahead and receive a confirmation. I want to kind of just make sure I have all of the information here. So I do have my phone. It looks like I cracked it. I don't know what happened. I dropped it this morning. But um, it just says here, thank you for your order. You're being processed and it will be dispatched normally three to seven days. And then um, that is what it says. So it also says on here, if you paid with a PayPal or credit card account, the merchant will be order plus international when it appears on your statement. So I was like, okay, like whatever. They're just telling you like what the statement person will be. Um, and the charge went through like right away. So a week goes by, a week and a half goes by. And that was the only email that I ever got. There wasn't like a, okay, your items have shipped or anything like that. So I began to get worried. I began to get nervous. And to kind of backtrack a little bit, I did feel that the website looked a little sketchy as far as like some of the photos, they just looked like photos off Pinterest. Like I kind of knew that, like they looked like photos that, you know, weren't a good representation of the clothing and they couldn't possibly be the right price for that. But I know like someone who shopped in like Wish and things like that before, I was like, okay, well, you know, maybe like these are gonna be decent quality items. Like, I don't know, like, let me just try it out. So like I said, time kept going, kept going. It had been about two weeks and I never got a shipping confirmation or any other email from the company. So finally I was like, okay, well, let me go on their website and figure out what's going on. So I go on their website and I try to find like a contacts thing. There is literally nowhere to contact them on their website. There is a little button that says contact here and when I click it, like it doesn't do anything. Like it didn't take me anywhere. So then I began to get nervous and I'm like, oh my God, I think I got scammed. So I Google, which I should have did in the first place. Anytime you guys are ordering from like an online retailer that you've never ordered from before, I feel like you should always Google it and see, you know, what the reviews are, see different things. Like if you're kind of feeling like a little uneasy about the websites, nine times out of 10, you shouldn't order from there. And I learned this the hard way. So I, like I said, I Googled it and I was seeing a bunch of forums that like different moms had posted about it being a scam. And I just think it's so sad. I was like, I just remember feeling like, oh my God, I can't believe I fell for this. But at the same time, it, like you're preying on like pregnant women. That's kind of really disgusting. So I tried to figure it out. I was like, okay, well, let me just see if I can like reach out through an email, like anything I can do. And I couldn't find any information to reach out to anyone physically. So I went onto my PayPal and I went ahead and I disputed the charge. So I kind of just said like, I never got the items. I never got a shipping thing and I disputed the charge. So from there, PayPal actually put me in contact with the Luca Luca website and they had someone from there talking to me on the PayPal website. So the initial conversation with them, that was something like, we have been experiencing long ship times. Like, I'm so sorry. What can we do to make this better for you? Like your items will ship out really soon. 
or we can offer you a refund. And I was like, okay, cool. Like I'd rather at this point, it's been weeks. My maternity shoot is even coming up. So I'm like, there's no point for me to wait still to get these clothing, to get this clothes because by the time I get it, it's gonna be past my maternity shoot anyways. So I was like, I'd like to be refunded. And then they responded and they were like, okay, you'll receive the refund within three to five days. Look for it on your card. If you don't see it, then let us know. I was like, okay, perfect. Like no harm done, like whatever. And then I waited and I waited about a week and I never got any sort of anything like refunded on my account. So then I go back on there and I message them again and I'm like, hey, like, you know, I haven't seen anything come through. And they were like, okay, well, we shipped your order. Part of your order shipped, so we can only give you a partial refund for the items that haven't shipped. And I was like, uh, I don't want these clothes anymore at this point. I was just irritated. So I was like, uh, I would like a refund for everything. This has been, you know, at this point it had been over a month since I made the initial order, which said I would it would come in like a week. Um, so I was like, no, I'd like the, the full refund. And they were like, well, we're sorry, we can't do that. We can offer you, like I said, a partial refund for the other items and the other items have shipped. Here's the tracking number. So then I was super frustrated and I actually went ahead and like escalated it to PayPal to where they would get involved. There's an option to just like talk to the seller and then there's an option to escalate it to like PayPal being able to see the conversation and for them to decide what to do with from there. So I went ahead and escalated it. This is my first time doing anything like that. So I didn't know like how I go about doing this, making a claim, anything like that. So I do the claim and PayPal gets involved and they need a few other information, like a few other pieces of information from me. They need like the confirmation. Um, they need all of like our interactions, all that stuff. So I went ahead and gave them all the information. I, I think it took about a week before PayPal actually declines my um, submission for a refund. They said that there wasn't enough information and that my items had been shipped and the seller reassured them that the items had been shipped, which I still hadn't received them at this point. Um, I was really frustrated, really annoyed, and then I actually got a shipment in the mail, which I'm going to show you guys the items of clothing that I did end up getting from them. So when I opened the package, there was four out of the seven items that I had ordered, so three of the items were not in there. And when I opened the bag, it initially had such a smell to it, like it was almost like a mildew, I don't know how to explain it, but like a wet smell. And I was taking the clothing out of the bags that they came in, and they even had like a stent to them, like that they like sat, like they either sat in a warehouse, but they were almost like wet. I didn't even want to put these items on. I still like having this one on right now. I'm like, ooh, like I'm itchy. I I don't know. I don't know what happened at the warehouse or what, but the items looked nothing like the description, which was what I was afraid of at this point. At this point I knew I'd been scammed, so I was just like, okay, like whatever, they look like whatever. But they look nothing like the photos. I'm gonna show you guys the items. I'm gonna try them on so you can see like the haul portion of this. But I kinda just wanna finish the story time first. So after getting the items, I decided to actually call PayPal on the phone and be like, hey, you know, I got the items. Now they're not as described. Not only have I not received a refund for the items that I didn't receive in my package, I also now at this point received items that look nothing like what they did online and they also had this sent to them. They just, they were just not as described, right? So the PayPal person was like, okay, well, we'll go ahead and reopen this for you. I'm putting down here on the notes all the things you're saying and we'll get back with you and we'll review it. So I would say about a week goes by and then they finally, actually the company offered me a refund, but they offered me a partial refund and they said they would only give me, I think it was a like $50 refund or something. And like I said, my order was over $100 and they said that the only way to give me the refund was if I closed the claim. And they said that's the only way they could process it is if I close the claim. But what it did say on PayPal's website is that if you close the claim at any time, they will never be able to reopen it. Like it's closed for good. Like if you physically close it and say it's been resolved, like you can't go back in and you know reclaim or whatever so i was like no i'm not gonna do that i'm sure they're just doing that to get me to you know shut up because they know that they're in the wrong year so i kept it going and paypal was getting involved and then they asked me to like actually go physically to the police station and like report 
the um merchant and i just was like i don't i don't want to be this serious with it like i do because obviously they're scamming but at the same time they're like this goes on your record and all these things it was really stressing me out like i didn't know it was going to be that serious i just thought that paypal would just realize like okay obviously this is a scam she didn't get her items not you know the shipping was off the items she did get aren't what they were supposed to be like i just I didn't think it would be this long of a process. So at this point had been like probably like close to like two months and I was still fighting through this. So my sister suggested to me that I called my credit card company and actually tried because my credit card was through PayPal and tried to go that route and just tell my credit card company what was going on and seeing if they could help me. So they ended up calling on like on a call with me with PayPal. And when we got on the call with PayPal, they're like, oh yeah, we have it right here that the um that the merchant wants to give a full refund. So would that make her happy if we give you the full refund? Because we have it right here that they're willing to do that. So I was really confused, like, okay, why do I need to send in all this stuff, make a police report and all this stuff if the merchant was saying that? So I'm not sure if that was something that PayPal just does to like get the credit card company off their back, but they did end up giving me a full refund and I got all of my money back and then nothing ever happened with the clothing. So I do still have it. So I am gonna show it to you guys to do like a little haul, but I did just wanna say like how careful you need to be when ordering from these online companies. If they look sketchy, then you probably shouldn't order from them. If you have that feeling like, is this legit? These prices are too good. Sometimes it's just true that they are. So why don't we go ahead and I'll show you guys the clothing items and then I can kind of show you what I mean when I say that they aren't as described. I'll have a picture up on the screen of like what it looks like slash what it says. And now that I look at it, I'm like, why did I order from this website? Because the titles of these dresses, they just seem so off. So let me go ahead and show you the pieces of clothing. So this is the very first top. This is supposed to be like an off the shoulder top, a scrunchy like, you know, loungy kind of shirts. And at first I was like, oh, okay, that's not too bad. But like the length of this is not, like this is not a maternity shirt. Like it literally looks just like, there's no shape to it. It's also extremely itchy. Like I don't know if you noticed, but I was like itching the entire time. Like this is a very itchy material. It just feels really flimsy. It feels really thin. And like I said, it's so short that I don't even know what I would wear this with because of how short it is and how it isn't, like it's not meant for like a full blown belly, you know? So this is the first item that I got. Again, I'm gonna have the pictures up on the corner of like what it's supposed to look like or what I thought it would look like versus how it actually does look. Okay, and then this is the second dress right here. I'm having tons of issues with this top thing. Like I feel like it just doesn't sit correctly. Also, there are a ton of different like strings and things just like attached to all of these clothing. Um, if I could show you guys the length on this and also how it bunches right here, like it's definitely not a maternity outfit. Like it's pretty much just a shirt that they're like, oh yeah, this is maternity. Like this is supposed to be a dress. And I just, it, it, it's so short and it's so again, uncomfortable and it just is, the material is so rough feeling. And I just feel like this would be almost like a shirt with how short it is. I'm gonna try and show you guys the length of it. So I'm gonna show you my lovely pregnancy legs. I know I've talked about the stretch marks that I've gotten, but so you guys can kind of see where it fits. Uh, so my stomach is right here and this is like how short it is. Like I would not leave the house in something this short, nor would I wear something this unflattering. So this next one here is this bodycon dress and I feel like this one is probably one of the ones that I feel like kind of okay about. I still wouldn't feel super comfortable wearing it because the material is so thin it just feels like I'm wearing nothing. But it's actually like decently fitting as the way it fits on my body. I don't think it's like horrible. I feel like it's also very see-through. Like you can see my bra like right through this. But the stitching on it is just really cheap looking and again the material of it just feels so thin. Okay, and then we have this bodycon dress here, and again, just the material of this feels super itchy. Um, I feel like if I wash the items, like maybe that itchiness will go away. But this one, again, it just isn't really flattering where it sits. It bunches up a lot. There isn't any rouging or anything on the side that there is normally, I feel like, with pregnancy clothes. And this one, again, is very, very short. The top of it I feel like is okay and the material doesn't feel as bad as the other material did, but the way that it actually fits on me I just feel like isn't flattering at all. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I mean when I say it's super short as well. So you can kind of see just how short it is with me standing up here and like on the sides like this kind of goes in. 
So it's like a weird, I've never had a dress do that. Like it doesn't, it just seems weird to me. Okay, and I saved the best one here for last. This photo, you guys, of what this dress is supposed to look like, I thought it looked so angelic, so pretty. And then I got it and I was like, what the heck is this? So <laughs> this is the dress. First off in the photos, it looks green and it definitely looks blue on camera. I can't even get the zipper fully up because the zipper is like stuck. And it also is just like messing with the tool. It's falling apart. Uh, this front piece, like what is happening here? I do not even know. It's also really like sitting in a weird spot. I don't even know how it's supposed to actually sit. It's really flowy, which is fine. Like I feel like that's how it should be. Just the quality of this one. Let me show you guys the back. Like the quality on this one, you can just tell is just like nothing. Like this is so poorly made and so poorly done and nothing like the photo. I wanted to kind of save this one for last because this is the one that I pulled out and I was like, what is this? After the try on portion, that is all I have for you guys. Like I said, I've gotten my money back. Definitely learned my lesson here. I wanted to still film this haul video just to have it out there so that you guys know not to order from this website if you were thinking about it. And also just to be careful with what you're purchasing online. And if anything ever sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If the prices are too low for what you're looking at, there's probably a reason. Um, I just wanted to kind of share that and still put this haul in there because there wasn't any that I was seeing. And if I'd seen a haul that said this, I probably wouldn't have made the order. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Leave comments that you have down below. Let me know what you think of these clothings or let me know if you've ever had this happen to you, um, your story, or leave some websites that you've had issues with down below. Maybe we can help some people out there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.